アンドレさん、yes. 今から僕が言うセリフをちょっと英語で訳してみてください。Okay, I'll try. アレックスはホゼと結婚しています。アレックス is married to Jose。うん。Easy。Easy, easy. で、これちょっと日本人からすると結婚しているってなると、married with みたいなね。ちょっとよく聞きます、うん。ネイティブからするとちょっとね、違和感を覚える、まあ、フレーズかもしれないんですけども。うん、ちょっと。うんでもちょっとそれが実はマイアミアメリカのマイアミではちょっと事情が違うようですおうそれでは今日のエピソードは英会話に慣れてきた人も困るマイアミイングリッシュダイレクトについて Let's jump right in Hey everybody, Crosstalk FM is an English and Japanese bilingual freestyle podcast. In this podcast, we explore some cross cultural themes and trends. I'm Andrea. Hi, I'm Tomoya. Thanks for joining us today. ちょっとマイアミでよく使われる地元の人の言葉とかフレーズをね研究してみたいんです。うん。で、interesting. Okay.、うん、それで一つ分かったことがあって、うちのマイアミの地元の人、マイアミダイレクト使っとるやんみたいな。Oh, okay. So as as someone who's not from Miami, I would just assume that this is just a Spanish accent. Is it different than just a Spanish accent? So, just a Spanish accent to the same as the Miami English dialect. It's the same as the Miami English dialect. It's the same as the second generation, third generation. It's the same as 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 えー、スパニッシュイングリッシュみたいなね、okay. 使ってスパングリッシュみたいなこと言ってますよね。Okay. But then that got carried down into the second generation and now the third generation.、うん、and so it's not considered Spanglish. It's like a new dialect. そうなんです。Okay. Got you. Okay. So it's not, it's not just in Spanish accent then. その通りです。スパニッシュアクセントの英語ではないということですね。ねうん、okay. Cool. だから、まあ、ちゃんとした英語の一つの仲間みたいなね。Okay, so it's like a like a in Japanese you would say hogan. そうですね。Okay. Right. But it's a new one, relatively new、mm. one for America. そう。だからまあ大阪弁とかね標準語とかいろいろあるけど、yeah, まあ何々弁。そうね何々弁。まあもう一つなんか新しいものが誕生したって感じですよね。Okay, interesting. Yeah,、mm. that's very interesting actually because America doesn't have a lot of different kinds of dialects. Mm. We have you know, standardized American English, and then we have smaller pockets like a New York dialect or a New Jersey accent,、uh, kind of a, a, wet, a East Coast, like Boston, Philadelphia, that area, a little bit. And then we have a Southern dialect, but really that's about all. We don't、mm. have a lot.、Mm. Like、Japan has a lot. Japan depends on、like、each prefecture, or even within one prefecture, it might have several dialects, right? Right. こういうふうに、まあ、そのマイアミ・イングリッシュ・ダイレクトの中でスパニッシュの言葉が元になっているのが英語として取り入れられてきたんですけどもそういう言葉っていうのを「Borrowed Translation」って言って、oh, okay. つまりスパニッシュで例えばあの、まあ、代表的なこのマイアミ・ダイレクトで言うと「Get out of the car」って普通言いますよね。Yeah, get out of the car. うん、っていうのを「Get down」From the car. Oh, instead of get out, they say get down. Right. Okay, that's interesting. So you said it's a borrowed translation. What does it mean, like with that example specifically, for example? <laughs> okay.、Yeah. You're the expert. <laughs> <laughs> I just read the newspaper. You, you did more research than I did, though. <laughs> the borrowed translation, do you know what? It's my Nihongo de Kantani. 紹介すると、うん、薬を飲むって日本語で言うでしょ。Yeah. Yes, yes. 薬を飲む。うん、でそれを英語にまあトランスレーションすると、I drink medicine.、Yes. I drink medicines って言いますよね。Yes, I hear that often.、うん、Very often. これは英語では間違いなんですけども。That's right. We say I take medicine.、Right? Take medicine ですね。Mm-hmm. だけどそれがつまり OK になっちゃってる。世界なんですよね。Okay, in this, what is it called?、Uh, translation? Borrowed translation. Borrowed translation. Okay.、Mm. So, for example, I'm just thinking aloud. 
if, for example, a large group of Japanese people immigrated to America, which they did, and they immigrated in, let's say, California, in which they did, Hawaii, uh, Oregon, Washington states on the West Coast. So now those people who went from Japan to America, their children and grandchildren are now in America. If those people had a specific dialect, would that be, that would be a new dialect too then, right? Right. Just for example, just right. for example. Exactly. So like if it were like second and third generation Japanese people who were saying like, we drink medicine, mm. that would be a new dialect and that would be okay. That'd right. be fine for English. Right. Okay. That would be a new dialect in English. In, in English. Okay. It'd be like, in a specific like, area. Yeah. It'd be like the West Coast Asian dialect or mm. the West Coast Japanese dialect or something. So, right? Okay. I bet there is something like that, actually. <laughs> Just no one has studied it. I bet there is one. Are there, sure, ne? Tabo. Then I can't. One, tabo, one part of the country, really one part of the country. And, but this Miami dialect, you know, is, well, tabo, Miami's one part of the country. Yeah, it looks like it's、uh, Dade County, which is a very small county. Yeah, it looks like it's Dade County, which is a very small area. Yeah, it looks like it's Dade County, which is a very small area. Yeah, it looks like it's Dade County, which is a very small area. Yeah, it looks like it's Dade County, which is a very バイリンガル、oh, スパニッシュ、イングリッシュの。That's cool. もう多分リサーチでもちょっと数はあったんですけど、まあだいたいそのき見た感じでいるとまあ六七十パーセント以上の人はね。That's cool. うん。だからもうそのまあでもほとんどスパニッシュで話す人も多いみたいな。Sure, because it's southern Florida. Ah,、uh, it's very close to Latin America, especially Cuba. Cuba is like literally a very short, you know, boat ride away.、うん Um, so, yeah, it should be Spanish.、ね、that makes sense. なんでそういうふうなカルチャーがあるからそうこういうふうに New accent. ニューアクセントが生まれてきたわけですけども、yeah. じゃあもうちょっとねいろんな、まあ、そのマイアミダイレクトを紹介していきましょうか。Sure. Yeah. Like show some examples that might be interesting for our listeners. そうですね。Okay. 例えばこんなのがあります。これがマイアミダイレクトね。He made a party to celebrate his son's birthday. Okay, this sounds like Japanese English, to be honest.、Mm. He made a party.、Mm. That sounds like Japanese English. <laughs>、yeah. Don't you think? This <laughs> one, <laughs> yeah. これは英語で言うとどういうふうに言うかな、uh, I would say he, he held a party or he planned a party.、Uh, he plan, planned a party. Yeah. ね、yeah. Okay, I'm gonna show you another example. Okay. I made line to pay for groceries. To stand in line, I'm guessing? To be in line? I think this is waited in line. Waited in line, in okay. In regular English dialect. Okay, okay. We would, yeah, like in American, American English, we would never really say make a line. Make a line, though, the Jibun Gane. Yeah, unless you were the first one and said, okay, everyone line up, line up here on the line. Then you would be literally making a line. But otherwise, we would just say, I, I waited in line or I, I stood、ね、in line. Yeah. Ato, mo hi tsu, ma chut to sentence ya line deske domo. Threw a photo instead of saying, took a photo. He threw a photo. Ma, kore wa threw, nihon de ki ni uto toru desu yo ne. Okay, but like threw is in like, Throw. Throw. Nagiru da kedo. Nagiru. Shashin o nagiru. Interesting. I can see why, though. I can understand the imagery of the image going into the camera, right? Mm, you so, throw、ね、something into the camera. I can understand that. Shashin o yeru mi tayna. Yeah, I can、nagiru. see that imagery. Ah. Do you feel like this is a Spanish no? 言葉の作り方なんですね。言い方なんですね。Okay. 言い方ね、うん。で、そのまま直訳して。直訳したら、through a line、okay.。あ、じゃない、through a photo。Okay。で、直訳して、今、second generation or third generation。で、use the same phrases。そうなんですよね。Okay。まあ、なぜこんな風にマイアミダイレクトになるかっていうと、やっぱりそのいろんな人がね。そこに住んでるからっていうところもありますけども。Yes, it is. It is like a big what we call in English. It is a melting pot. So we have a lot of.、Um, originally, it was a Native American. 
they have some uh, reservations there, which is where the words like Florida and Miami come from. It's the Native American words for those areas. But then a lot of white people started moving down in the winter because it's it's a warm beach area. So like people retire there. Mm. But then we have a lot of um, immigrants from especially Cuba, but also other parts of South America uh, coming into Miami. Hmm. You know, and it's a resort area, so you get people from like all over the place coming in. Yeah, lots of different cultural influences in the city. Miami Beach, って言いますもんね。Yes, I've never been there. I did go to Florida, but not to Miami. But、hmm. uh, Miami Beach is apparently very beautiful, very famous. で、僕もバイマイアミがどこにあるかそのわからなかったんでアメリカのね、ちょっとだけ見てみたんですけども、It's very south, like、hmm. very close to Cuba. Yeah, it's very close to Cuba. キューバまでボートで行けますか行けます。えぇ、ー、ー行けます。マジ ?Yes。じゃあ密航者スマグラーがいっぱいいるんじゃない ?Yes。Actually, yes <笑>。<笑> so, I don't want to say like too many negative things, but like back in the 1980s, a lot of drugs were being smuggled into America via that route and also like just across the Mexican border, but also just in, in airplanes and stuff as well, coming from all parts of South America. Um, but yeah, like human smugglers,、uh, like people bringing other people, like、mm. illegal immigrants, also come through Miami or come through that area. So, well, I mean, I guess, but like the southern states、mm. all have a lot of immigrants coming through just because of their proximity, their, their closeness to. Mexico and Cuba and South America,、mm. Central South America. It just can't be helped. We're just very, very close. And the, you know, it's connected.、Mm. Okay. Yeah, it can't be helped. It's not really a problem,、mm. in my opinion. Okay. This is interesting to me. This is my opinion. I think it's a little bit of a problem. I think it's a little bit of a problem. I think it's a little bit of a problem. I think it's a little bit of a p r Uh-huh. いいじゃないですか。Yeah, yeah. あの一つの人種しかほとんどいないじゃないですか、日本人、日本には。Okay, yeah. だからそのみんなそのネイティブの英語のこのモデルケースがあって、それを覚える、それを話さなきゃいけないと思うから、完璧主義になってしまう。ああ。でもそのこういうふうにマイアミみたいに。60% 以上の人がバイリンガルですって、mm-hmm, mm-hmm. なるといろんなカルチャーが生まれますよねもちろん、mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes. だからその一つのモデルケースがないじゃないですか、mm. い,いろんなまあ普通のレギュラーイングリッシュもあればお母さんが話すのス,ペスパングリッシュみたいなのもあるし、sure. yeah. sure. だからその完璧じゃなくていいってもう元から思うわけだ、yeah. だからそういうふうに日本人が完璧主義なのはやっぱもうその一つの人種がほとんどしかいないから。That's probably true because like when you yeah like when you go to America, you will often see like a Russian person speaking to an Indian person in English, and both of them have accents, and they somehow manage to communicate, you know, or they you know they use like this kind of thing like this.、Uh, Borrowed translation kind of thing where they're translating directly from their own language. It's not what we would say in Native American English, but we get it, we understand. There's a lot of that actually when you go overseas. So, yes, that probably is the case. Like Japanese people only see themselves speaking English, they don't ever have to speak English to anyone who's not a native speaker or another Japanese person,、mm. usually. So, no. Usually. So, no. アメリカとかの映画とかでやっぱこれがザ・英語みたいなものがこうねうインプットされてるんですよね。Maybe, yeah.、Uh, Probably, yeah. But when you, when you get on the streets, like you're walking down the street of New York,、うん、it's probably more immigrants or more visitors than Native American people.、うん、<笑>そうだからなんかもう日本日本人の人にとって完璧主義じゃなくていいよっていうのは、yeah. もうそもそもなんか違うのかなと思って。Yeah. Well, I mean, I, and I tell our students here, like, you don't have to speak perfect English. It's okay to have a Japanese accent.、Mm. Yeah, of course, everyone wants to brush up and be as perfect as possible, and that is okay. That's great. But if you never get there, that's okay too. You can still communicate. 
そう思いますね。Yeah. はい、absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. I think we talked about Miami dialect a lot today. Yeah, I'd like to go to Miami now and hear this, this dialect in person.、うん、<笑>まあちょっといろんなね、こうえー、カルチャーの違いも感じて見てい行きたいですね、Miami でね。行きたいね。行きたいですね。I'd rather go to Cuba, but okay, I'll take Miami、うん、as a good second. <笑><笑>いいですね。フードが美味しいって言いましたね。らしいね。らしいね。いねね I heard it's very good. <笑> okay. Shall we finish up today? Sure. Thanks for listening, guys. That's all for this episode. If you like our podcast and video podcast, be sure to subscribe wherever you're listening now. Also, please、uh, leave comments and reviews for us. And if you are tuning in through the podcast, check our YouTube channel. We have so much content here. This is Crosstalk signing off, bringing you English your way every week. Keep listening and keep shining. Bye. Bye.